Hey guys, so today I am going to show you how to get some voluminous waves in your hair just like this. And I'm going to be using the Numi wand. And if you saw in my very first video that I ever did, I did a curled hair tutorial and it was using like an old iron that I had actually like taken the clamp off and everything and it was working just fine. But I actually decided to go ahead and get a Numi wand and I I love this thing it is if you can tell there's a big difference between my curled hair tutorial and this one this is a lot wavier a little bit messier um, that sexy kind of beachy wave look that a lot of people are trying to achieve and the new me wand is a little bit bigger than my curling iron and this is a 32 millimeter wand and I don't know exactly what the one I was using was, but it was a little bit smaller. And so if you want to see curled curls, check out that video because the smaller the wand, the more curled your hair is going to get. But this just does the perfect, perfect beachy kind of waves. And I love this look. It takes 10 minutes, I say, because you don't have to be precise with it. You literally just wrap some hair around the new me wand real quickly and give it a little bit of hairspray and you're good to go. And also, I will wear this this hairdo for just a few days because you can just kind of, when you wake up the next morning, run the, the new me wand through it just a little bit and you're done. That's it. So if you are interested in a new me wand, I will put the link below, but I also want to let you know that I found mine at Marshall's. I got mine at Marshall's the other day. I was about to order a Numi wand and I was like on the fence about getting one and then I was at Marshall's and I also saw them at TJ Maxx as well but I saw them, they look like this in the, in the store and then they were $24.99. So just in case you were thinking that these are super expensive, they're not, but they're so good. So if you see one of these at the store, um, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, these are probably the only two stores that um, are carrying them that I've ever seen. So I I really, really love mine. $25 is like nothing for a really, really good iron. And also what I love about this is that the cord part swivels. So whenever you're holding your iron behind your head, this is not getting wrapped and, and tangled like a lot of irons. My last one did that and this doesn't seem to have that problem because of this. So this does get very high temperature and so it comes with a mitt, but I don't use that. I just am really careful not to burn myself. I'm sure it's gonna happen eventually, but I, the mitt I just cannot work with. I, I, I can't, I've never been able to use the mitts, but if you're afraid of burning yourself because I believe this does get pretty darn hot. Um, heats up to 410 degrees. So yeah, that's uh, pretty hot. So just be really careful when you're doing this. But I guess let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I am starting with freshly washed hair. I washed my hair last night and so I'm going to use some of my favorite dry shampoo and this is the Batiste in the wild scent and it smells really really good but I really like the blush scent and the blonde haired one especially for people like me whose roots have grown out. I'm just spraying this on my roots to kind of give it a little bit more texture. I'm actually all out of my both my tex texture sprays my Kenra spray and my linen proof spray. So I have to go and pick some more up because I cannot live without that stuff. But I thought that I would go ahead and show you what it looks like even without it. I'm just going to use some hairspray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section my hair off probably into three separate sections. So this is number one and it's about from my ears the middle of my ears down and then I split that into two and then I will take my wand okay so it's going to go behind my head and I wrap it around and I leave the ends out you have to make sure that you're leaving the ends out or else you won't get that undone um, kind of wavy look it'll be like a full-on curl so then I just let that fall and I'm only holding it on my hair for, oh, uh, I guess 10 seconds or so. I'm just going to kind of run my fingers through them and go ahead and do the next section. 
depending on how much hair you have will kind of determine how long it takes you. I used to have a lot more hair than this, but I lost, <laughs> I lost a lot of it to postpartum hair loss. And this one, I am going all the same direction. You can flip flop the directions, but since we're going for a wave look, you will do them all in the same direction. That way the wave is even. go ahead and run a brush or just this little comb through my hair because I haven't really brushed it this morning. Just through the top layer, not through the curls at the bottom. And I always curl the pieces by my face away from my face so the curls are going back and not towards your face. Okay, so once we have this, this is not very attractive, we're not leaving it like this. Um, I usually throw my head over and kind of tossle it up a little bit, so I'm about to throw my head over. Okay, so I threw my head over and now I am going to tease it a little bit. So I'm going to use my comb and I'm going to go through the top here and I'm going to tease it and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to tease underneath that. and flip that over and then tease underneath there. However much tease, teasing that you do is really up to you. I like big hair so I'm gonna tease quite a bit but and then you always want to make sure that you comb out the top so that it doesn't look like a rat's nest on the top there. And then I'm gonna do the same with this side as well. Okay. Now I'm going to take some hairspray and just kind of spray it throughout my hair. If you have dry, tex dry texture spray, I would recommend that. If you don't, hairspray will work just fine. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and use today. And so I like to just kind of use my hand like this and lift it up. It makes it a little bit more voluminous whenever you have your hair lifted up a little bit like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it in the links. And the top as well. And this is the Garnier Fructis uh, Flexible Control. And I like this stuff because it doesn't get really crunchy. It holds it enough to where like your hair is not going to, you know, go flat immediately. But it's not crunchy because I hate crunchy hairspray. So I'm not a huge hairspray person because I like dry texture spray so much. But if I have to use hairspray, it's always, it's this one. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this sexy, wavy kind of hairstyle. I am really loving this. I think this is like one of the super in hairstyles right now. And it's so easy to achieve, especially with the new me ones. So if you can find one of these at your TJ Maxx or Marshalls, go and get one for $25. That is nothing. But if you can't find one, I know that they also sell them on their website and they're not expensive. So I will leave a link below if you are interested in one of these. And thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me that you're here. And also, I hope you guys are loving the new background. I wasn't getting very good lighting in the room that I was doing it in before. And so... I've got a little bit of pink going on and it's a little girly and I'm kind of digging it. So if you like this video, please get a, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys all very, very soon. Bye.